So good evening or afternoon, I don't know. But uh, I think now I could see smile in all your face today because this is the last lecture which you have been listening for. The, I think you must be feeling it's a heavy dose of, you know, lecturing for since yesterday. And you are young teenager people, I could understand that uh, because once upon a time I was also like you. Huh? Huh? So who never, because it's very difficult to listen this kind of topic because we are not showing Bahubali 2 or 1. Okay? So uh, especially wherever I go, when I when speak I about the research, research method, method, no, it's no, basically it's very dry, 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 dry topic. topic. It's not like it's Romeo Juliet's uh, English, English literature, literature, no, no? or, or Othello's work, work, or Karan Johar movie, movie, for example, no, no? where you where feel very light and very emotional and all that. So, so research, research methods are very dry, dry subject, subject, basically. Your students don't easily get into that, that, you see. And above all that, uh, I was just wondering that uh, Dr. Viju, I should thank him for inviting me to this lecture. And uh, uh, instead of talking about this, uh, now I my mind is little, uh, see, uh, one thing I should appreciate him for organizing this kind of uh, lecture for the college students and the PG students here. Basically, this kind of programs we run for what Sadiq sir has said rightly, that it's for basically these things are done for faculty development program. Hmm? I, I proudly say that, that uh, since I came to this auditorium, uh, I'll be more benefited than all of you here. What uh, the uh, speaker who is spoken in about the uh, plagiarism thing in the morning and then what Sadiq sir has spoken, it's more beneficial for me rather than 100% I'm sure that uh, yeah, it must be going above your head because uh, the your level and what they have spoken is basically consume it can be consumed only by the faculty members and the senior research scholar not by you and today i have learned many things from what he presented here okay and that is such, but one thing that's what i small suggestion if next time when you want to have this kind of program i think for this kind of audience i think we should have a, because i have been traveling to many places and talking about all this kind of thing and i am the one who always fight with the quantitative method and qualitative research method okay and since uh, i have gone through the programs also and uh, another very interesting thing is that uh, you will be happy that uh, another discount is given for diwali that i have been asked to speak only for 30 minutes which I prepare for one and a half hours, okay? All the way coming by flight in the early morning, waking up at four o'clock night, huh? and 30 minutes has been given. So I'm thankful to him and the, you people are smiling inside. Don't go and smile inside the bathroom today, okay? So lecture is very short, okay? But, but one thing I have a small suggestion for all the colleagues here is that next time when you plan to organize this kind of lecture, please organize a lecture which are very fundamental and very basic. See, I have gone through the, all the schedules. I am not criticizing Dr. Viju. He is very good. The work he has done, he has been appreciating. Because generally, we don't find this kind of activities in Hyderabad where there are last number of PG colleges are there. We don't generally see. Because this is the first time I am speaking in the college for this kind of activities. Generally, we go to universities and deliver lectures. But what I find is that there is some kind of incompatibility issue. See, you have a capacity to eat half kg of rice, but the situation is that you are given one kg of rice. Where it will go? Like Salman Khan movie, no? Dabang, no? Itne maronge ke saans kahan lenge, paate kahan te. Bolke that jaga bhi nahi malum hota. That kind of situation has come since yesterday. You may be listening, but I think I am sure that only five percent of you must be able to understand what is happening around since yesterday. And, uh, and uh, Kerala government is spending so much money for our travel, his travel, and the for chicken biryani, which is very delicious. Huh? And no, and then when it is not impacting on your life, then what is useful? Like in Kapil Sharma show, no, Babaji ka dullu bolke, no. See the point which I am trying to say that for you people, I think this is what anthropology comes in, what quality comes in. So I am slowly bringing it to. But, uh, but this is last lecture means lecture you must be waiting very tired that all the rice must be in the process of digestion and you will definitely sleep without uh, and don't snore, I'm telling you. Okay? You can sleep but don't snore. Okay? But the point here I'm going to emphasize is this, this emphasis has been given so much on quantitative. Numbers, numbers, numbers. But then when you are so much dominated by numbers, you know, then you become a, like a robot. 
heartless people no dil no dil is also very important so what i am trying to tell you about today is i am just trying to connect with you through the previous lecture because sir has given a very beautiful very scientific and a very meticulous i should appreciate him for the way he presented i think i should invite him to my department to lecture to my faculty members not to the students because this kind of lectures now if we give it to students now it's like a, you know uh, putting you know uh, what is that karela karela into children's mouth bitter gourd sir no If you put bitter gourds to diabetes patient, they will happily eat, like me. Okay, but if you put on children's mouth, they will jump like a monkey. So similarly, that kind of situation I could see because I was also audience here today. But but for you, what is very important here is the very basic, you know, motivational lectures on how a political science student, how a social science student should become a researcher. How, how they should become, become academicians that should be the motivational factor that we should try to grab you your attention towards the science the scientific research see why we should do research research is nothing which is uh, researching you see which is already there around us only we are trying to discover the knowledge new knowledge you see see columbus discover what america it doesn't mean that columbus hum himalay se kahan se hanuman ke vasal leke aisa nahi na It was already there. Only thing we are ignorant about the existence of America. So Columbus are the one who is discovered. So there are many knowledge, ignorant knowledge in our society around us. So the purpose of research is to explore that and to remove that ignorance. You see, from our mindset. That is the reason why that relevance of social science is very much important in today's 21st century. Also, at the same time, today. it's a data driven world people are only talking about numbers sir was talking about citation and all that so now i am just trying to give you that why case study is very important in a qualitative research and it's not only in qualitative research even in a quantitative research also it adds value to the your research finding how it adds value i will tell you the simple example that sir talks about the one paper which has a six authors No? no six authors means what it looks like especially it happens in many of the science papers social science mein bahut kam milta okay in a science paper minimum six seven authors will be there it likes uh, uh, if you see movie farah khan's om shanti om no there's one song om shanti om all mithun chakravarti jitendra se lekar sharuk khan tak everyone comes in that song but they are not part of that movie but they appears what sir has said right that is a marketing strategy of getting citations and all but what actually what is there in this knowledge no very clean but you need to understand very deeper level so that is the reason why the quality comes in because now every numbers cannot be counted as a quality see i will say that see why case study become a very important in, in you know social science research that's what even today i am telling you that uh, microsoft and uh, google and ibm hmm? and the uh, uh this one uh intel no and the motorola and qualcomm these are the company who employs highest numbers of anthropologists for their market research why because in 1980s and 70s people are running after numbers now people don't bother about the numbers today people wants to know what actually people think inside you see see you here see what is very important i am thinking that you know in my lecture no around 100 people are listening so it, with this i am not i should not be happy what is more important is how you are listening see that is more important see when i i am speaking that i am thinking that 100 people are attending so i should not be jumping inside the bathroom alone no no but the most important in how many of you are really understanding what i am speaking that is what the case study the qualitative research is all about so qualitative research will tell you that how things has to be taken into the deeper level so since given the less time i am not going to the slide also only you show my name so that little more advertisement okay <laughs> so just uh, joking but the one thing i will tell you that explore describe and explain 
These are the three mantras which you need to use in the qualitative research method. And the case study is one of the very important technique for doing qualitative research because it adds value. In the quantitative research, basically numbers will tell that out of 20 students, no, five are distinction, means A plus. Okay? In the, this political science, Bernard College, no? More than 5% of the students are getting A plus. And remaining are A and B. But it never talks about how they are getting A plus. And how others are not able to get A plus. See, the results are not explored here, you see. So if you use case study method, then I'll do, what is your grade? A, B, C, A. A, A. A, A. <laughs> but A, why you are not able to get A? No? So if I take a tell case study of him, then I will be able to get the clue what kind of difficulties students are suffering in the college, you see, and what kind of classes. So I I am not totally against number, but numbers should also taken into importance. That's what author is because there's a technicality. What for to become an associate professor, you need to have a careless or a scopus seven publication. Their quality doesn't matter. Frankly speaking, uh, see, very beautiful story such as Sir has narrated. But if you see the care, you see careless journals. Again, there's a pure careless journal. There are some journals which publish every month. And I will tell you that one of anthropology journal, hmm? Oriental anthropology, Eastern anthropology, even it was not in the Scopus and it was recently they have included and it was not even in a care list. And it is more than 100 years ago. It was started by the some of the eminent anthropologists in India and they are not in the UGC care list. Hmm? To publish paper in the journals, it's minimum, it takes two years. By the time all your, my hairs will go. And then, and then, unfortunately, it was included recently in the care list. Before that, it was not there. Then there's one uh, uh, journal called Third Concept, which published every month, if you pay 5,000. And it is, don't publish, okay? But I'm just telling you, okay? But it's, there's no controversy. It is there in the UGC care list. No clone, nothing, no hijack. It's original care list. Pay 5,000 and publish. Then where is the quality? Quality is question. That's what I'm saying. So you can't be just blind by the numbers. So what I'm saying is that what is more important here is that the internally motivating people to write, people to think. No? See, paper writing is not about manufacturing. How you manufacture samosa and idli, no? It's not like that. It has to be manifested from your inner inside. So, Aptitude towards research, no? Aptitude towards critical thinking, you see. See, I'll give you a simple example. How anthropologists do research is by, by just looking at this number. There's a very important uh, work of uh, Malinowski, which I just want to quote here. When we are doing about the, Malinowski is the one who talks about the qualitative research method. He called it as an observation method. See, observation, how it becomes method, I'll just share with you a small story about observation method, which we use in the KCCD research. How many of you, you have been coming to this room since how many years? Even Dr. Viju must be coming every day, no? In this room. But if I suddenly ask him, what is the, what are things available in this room, no? He will not be able to learn. And how many years are there, no? But even then, he's observing every day for the last 17 years. Walls, everything, no? But he is not able to say. So that is just called observations. How observation become methods is when you are observing something with the purpose which has some certain application, then it becomes an observation method. This is what Melinowski talks about. So now I can challenge you, any one of you sitting in this room, how many years are there in this classroom? You have been coming for the last three years and two years. No one will say. Only you will be able to say that how many ACs are there because it's very distinct. See, but if I assign you to do this, see, please. What's your name, ma'am? Bindu, ma'am, please try to, I'll give you one hour's time. Please observe this classroom and write a small report. What is the positive aspect of this room? What is the negative aspects of this room? Then immediately you'll write everything, no? Then you, your observation become 
purposeful and it has application because this application is what after based on your report the renovation or improvement of this classroom can be done but before that we are casually observing this classroom that is the reason why that this cannot be considered as a observation but when observation becomes a method it's very and i will give you another method why anthropology is very important in social science research is that see many people do survey research in checklist interview See, I'll give you, please don't get a hesitant, no? And don't file case against me, because I'll be, I, I go like this to the class also. Okay, I'll ask you, how many hours you What, sir? How many hours you read? <laughs> Almost, uh, two hours. Two hours, no? And you have boyfriend or not? No. No, okay? And uh, you are interested in political science? Yes. Yes, no? This, these are the questions which I asked here. This is the interview which all social scientists do. And happily we come back, no? And then we write the report, no? And she said that she doesn't have a boyfriend, number one. Please don't get me wrong, okay? And she's interested in political science, no? And how do you like it? It was so interesting. It's not completed also. She's giving the conclusion, okay? So this is the answer she has given now. But, but observation method will tell you how to verify, how to validate this information which I have collected by using other techniques from the others. See, just now I have used interview technique, interview her. And she said that she read three hours a day and then she doesn't have a boyfriend and she likes political science. Okay? Then observation, when I start, anthropology always insists on empirical data, when you start observing on her behavior day to day, at least, then continuously you must be finding her roaming with the boys, okay? And not reading for one hour or so, okay? And then she is not at all interested on political science because she she is interested on the building, that's why she came. Next year she wants to come to Hyderabad University for anthropology, okay? See, so this is the observation which I get after observing her behavior. So which one is correct? The second one, because second one is based on the empirical data, which is, you know, actual behavior of her, okay? But generally today, what is happening is that most of the people are writing reports based on the, for the first interview which I have conducted. And that, if that report goes, then, then the question of validity, question of scientific research become questionable. That is the reason why that there is a very argument in the first unit of research method that whether social science research is scientific or not. No? I think we, we, uh, Biju will agree with me. There is a first unit which we teach to all the students. See, social science research is scientific or not, it comes because of these problems. If I go by the, my first interview with you, then my report will be totally wrong. So finally, my, in my observation shows that you don't read, number one. Okay, but you read, that is a different thing. This is an example. And you have a boyfriend, which you said no. Okay? And third thing, you said you have an interest in political science, but finally you turns out to be interested in anthropology, you see. My subject, okay? So I'm just doing marketing also. So half of you will come to anthropology next year to my university, okay? So the point which I'm trying to see, this is the importance of quality, you see. So you cannot go, always depends on the number. And same time, what I'm saying is that you cannot ignore the numbers also. Numbers are also very important for policy making. But case study, why case study is very important here is that for qualitative research, without case study, you can't show anything. See, if I say that government college of Burner is an excellent, all students are excellent, you see. This is a statement I am giving. But in the quantitative research, they will say that 75% of the students in the Burner College is excellent. So it justifies because 75% is there. But for me, for qualitative researcher like me, for anthropologists like me, if I say that Burner College students are very excellent, where is the justification? It will be like an uh, election campaign, no? Politicians giving election speech, no? Thus, kilo rise har hafta dete, no? It's like, there's no proof. So, in that kind of situation, you will take the help of case study to show that, then what will happen, that I'll take up 10 case study from this classroom, who are very good in the subject. Okay, that case study will prove that why Romesh is saying that Bernard College students are very excellent is because of these 10 students. And that 10 students' story will reflect the how 
if you want to become an excellent then what are the procedures no what are the preparations which you need to go through that will also reflect in the case study method that is the reason why case study becomes a very important method in the social science research and today in the i just want to share one of the very interesting story about the you all drink coca cola no coca cola sabko pasand hai na see coca cola it is a consider as a global product because all across the world coca cola has been used okay and then what happened is that coca cola of manufacturing has dominated all over the world and everybody consumes coca cola because of that now our you know chai coffee no tea becomes a secondary now okay have you ever post uh, uh, taking tea and mirchi bhaji in the whatsapp or facebook no no coca cola bagar bole to dal dete no see this is how the cultural dominance which comes from the western society uh, but in that point of time coca cola company was very happy that we are dominating the world okay but the surprisingly i will tell you one story that you heard about trinidad society trinidad society when coca cola was launched in a trinidad society nobody buys then they got shock why they got so because coca cola has been accepted by the old peoples all across the world then why these people are not buying it and they engage one anthropologist his name is daniel miller who is a professor in university college of london and there is one more professor julian or in the north university of america they both are engaged by the coca cola company and try to understand no why these people are not taking the coca cola company so please do the case study of this community so they have taken the case study and then what comes out you know in this particular society there is a very strong cultural belief you see so that's what we always talks about the cultural determination of the society that this particular society that anything which comes any liquid which comes in a black color no if it is not sweet they will not drink in their belief, belief system. system okay, okay. and you and know that coca cola taste, taste is not sweet. sweet so because, because of that, that because it is it goes against go against go their cultural ethos, ethos, ethos you see because, because of this case study they, 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 they have given the recommendation to the coca cola company that there is a strong belief in this particular community we found in this case study that this society will not take any black color liquid item until unless it is sweet then what happened in the next round of manufacturing what they did they have sent the ingredients they have added lots of sugar content in coca cola and today coca cola is considered as a national drink in a trinidad society you see the impact of quality research that is coming out from the case study method and another study i just want to tell you that because which gives lots of you know better understanding about the Uh, society culture because we human being whatever artificial intelligence technology we talk about we are heart no dil se because we have a heart so we cannot be equivalent to any other species in the world so despite of technological advancement anything we need to take into consideration your mind your thought process and you cannot ignore the culture of the society you see because we are bounded by the culture of the society the way you work the way you dress you know? see imagine if i come with a short here to give lecture how you people will react no because that is not part of our culture you see this is what and then another thing i just want to tell you about this is the interactions there's a very beautiful concept which uh, uh, franz bos talks about the in qualitative research is that when you are a researcher no when you are trying to understand the people please try to understand the concept of cultural relativism cultural relativism is all about the respecting others culture i'll give you a simple example that in the kerala all the fry items are done by the coconut no No? no no and, and uh, see if i tell this thing to my kids and my wife no they will vomit no no, no. see what i am trying to tell you this is very important aspect here. see i have to understand how coconut has uh, coconut oil has been conceptualized no how to treated by the kerala people is more important than how i look at the coconut oil see the moment the name name coconut oil is heard in my mind no i always think about applying on my body or head 
But the moment you heard about coconut oil, no? No. See, these are two things which he. Then where this difference comes because of the culture you see. So if you want to explore deeper level of the society culture, you can't think of better technique than KSCT method, which is there very much there in the qualitative research in anthropology. So what I'm trying to tell you is that you cannot ignore qualitative research method. Today, importance of qualitative research is gaining momentum, especially in the market research today, because we have done enough research in the rural and the tribal areas that people have fed up with that. Okay. But same time, you need to learn the quantitative research also, because it's very important. Numbers are also equally important. But at the same time, if you want to put value or if you want to put heart into the numbers, which you are presenting, then definitely you have to have a qualitative research. So one of the important qualitative research method is a case study method. Okay? Please don't forget that. And then that is the reason why UNDP, World Bank, no, and then World Health Organization, all these organizations are now looking for the anthropologists. Because now narratives, no, verbal thing quotations we talk about, and uh, uh, case study, historical methods, these things have become very important to project. So, uh, morning, Sarah was talking about the giving quotation of the longer line. See, these things are very much used in ethnographic writing. So you need to learn to add value to the existing research. So I am not saying that uh, please don't do quantitative research. Do quantitative research, but don't be so, you know, over influenced by the quantitative research, you need to strike the balance between these two techniques. So then there should be some kind of meaning which will be come out from your research. Okay? So with this, I'll end because uh, Bijou is looking at me like Amispuri. No, otherwise, uh, no? Uh, he'll throw me out. Uh, no? So I'll end my speech here. But uh, if you have anything, I can discuss with you. But. Uh, Social science research is very important. People think very because now it is because of the engineering doctors, no? Everyone is running after that and BTEC and all that. So don't be see uh, if you are sort of determined about what you want to achieve in life, no? Irrespective of what subject you are doing, no? Your goal will be there. Okay? So uh, Ellis, I expect that some of you will no do research in social science. And next year, come to Hyderabad University for your master's program also, okay? If you don't get seat in uh, political science, then come to anthropology, okay? Thank you.